And back here at home, the CDC is investigating a norovirus outbreak on a cruise ship based in San Pedro. The ship arrived in port today after a month long cruise. CBS 2's Joy Benedict spoke with one family whose vacation took an unexpected turn. The snapshots show a family trip of a lifetime, 28 days on board the Crown Princess, stopping in Hawaii, Tahiti, a dream for the Tagliers until one morning, an announcement was made on board this ship. There were a number of people that had contracted norovirus. It's a word that has sunk many vacations this year on the high seas, even turned around cruise liners. A fast spreading virus with symptoms similar to the stomach flu. This ship even dealt with the same virus on a different cruise in April. But passengers disembarking at San Pedro's cruise terminal say they were cautious, not afraid. We used our elbows to push the buttons in the elevator and took the stairs more often tried to avoid touching handrails and those kinds of things. Princess Cruises has 170 people, including passengers and crew members, showed symptoms of the virus. But passengers say everyone wasn't sick at the same time. The captain came on board each day to let us know um, how many people were ill, how many people were confined to their staterooms, and it, it seemed to us as if the number went down every day. It had gone from 90 to 40 in like two days. Passengers say there were clear procedures to help the sick get better. Say so they keep them confined to the cabin and use room service, and each day they sterilize the rooms they're in. Passengers credit the captain for keeping everyone calm and the crew for keeping them healthy. The buffet, they had it kind of saran wrapped off, and they had extra staff. Um, in charge of actually serving us instead of allowing us to serve ourselves. Small sacrifices that helped contain this outbreak to only about 3% of the 4,000 on board. There were so many people walking around with little buckets of sanitizer. In addition to dealing with the norovirus, passengers here on the Crown Princess arrived in San Pedro a day late after a crew member had to be taken to a nearby island because of a medical emergency. It was clearly life threatening. That crew member and the dozen sick will be okay. And even even though this cruise was more of an adventure than this family expected, they say they'll do it again. We would love to. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.